Okay, so we described how to create a plane um, in one point perspective, and we're just going to quickly create another one. We're going to make this one nice and large, actually, so that we have uh, plenty of room to work with. Um, You'll run into a problem where you're in a space and say there's a ramp or you're drawing desks or tables or something like that where the planes in the room are not all parallel to each other. Um, and so that's simply called an inclined plane. Like the surface that I'm drawing on with respect to this table next to me is an inclined plane. So what you're gonna have to do um, to create an inclined plane within the space is create another horizon line with another vanishing point on it. Okay, so let's say we're going to put a plane on top of this plane. It's a little smaller. We're going to create another horizon line parallel to our existing one. Boom. Okay, and then um, for the sake of clarity, we're going to go directly vertical and keep our um, uh, keep our vanishing points the same. Uh, around the same around the same vertical right here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the bottom of our plane here. We're gonna make it a little smaller. All right. And then we're gonna draw. This is kind of a dramatic example. You'll probably use it in a more subtle way. We're gonna draw up. All right, and then if we wanted to cut this plane off, we're gonna put that right here. So you can start to see that um, with respect to this plane, this plane is inclined, okay? So let's say that we wanted to draw a box that's actually inclined. We're gonna drop some, uh, drop some verticals off of this and make it sit on this existing plane, okay? Boom. Make that parallel. All right, now we're gonna actually take these back to our original vanishing point because the top of the box is gonna be inclined or, and the bottom is not. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some verticals and drop them off the edge because we're drawing through the form right now. Okay, we do our very best to keep those as perfectly vertical as possible. And then we're gonna connect the bottom just like that. So if you can visualize this, as a as a box with like a little wedge on top of it and in fact we'll go ahead and draw that um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the um, we're gonna draw this as if we were drawing a normal box so we're gonna take our planes back to our first horizon line first vanishing point okay and then we have our little intersecting lines right here All right, so you can see that we have a box right here that we've described in a secondary way. And then we have a wedge on top of this box. So that's perfect. That's how you use uh, inclined planes. 